So the trials here, they aren't really that hard to, to solve here. Alright, so when you get to this crate, you want to go and stand near it. And you want to aim for the middle of the crate right here. Just like that. Now there's actually another way that you can cross this. And that is by... Using the hover boots. Look at this. I'm levitating above the quicksand. That's amazing. I actually learned that very recently. Um, that's actually really awesome. That, uh, well... <laughs> It kind of just, it, in a way, it obsoletes the long shot. But so I just think that's really funny. All right, so once we get across that, we have to now follow the flags here. Um, if you just go anywhere without following the flags, then uh, you'll be sent back to the beginning of the trials, and that's not fun if that happens. And that's why. Um, and that's why that lady said up uh, earlier that those who don't go through the trials will end up returning. And, well, that's not fun. So, and then you'll encounter this area over here. Alright, and then if we go and head on down, check this out. We have a gold skull slot. Alright. Um, you can use Dim's Fire to light up those torches up there. Oh, I thought I could just hook shot on here. Uh, you can actually use Dim, Dim's Fire to light up those torches, and you'll get a chest that contains 50 rupees. And that's it, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Alright, um, let's see. There's also some pretty cool in this area as well. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so near the beginning of the trials, if you go ahead this way, then we have this right here. So um, we have this, we have this weird-looking guy over here. Welcome! I'm selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to suit everybody. Today's special is a, a dangerous running object, terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. Yeah, no. So, um, yeah, this guy's stuff is pretty expensive. So, I'm not going to bother with it. I don't even know what he sells. But that's really it. Alright, so, um, back over here. And, um, they said something about the Eye of Truth. And so we're gonna go and head up here. And you can read that if you want. But if you go and use the Lens of Truth, then there's a Big Po over here. And the idea is you wanna follow the Big Po. Now again, if you have the Lens of Truth, and you know exactly what path this Po's gonna take, then all you gotta do is just follow this path, and that's it. Um, you don't need to use the Lens of Truth at all as long as you know the path. But you do have to follow this path specifically. Um, otherwise, if you just go anywhere, if you just go straight to where the pose is gonna take you um, without following a specific path, then uh, it'll just send you back to the um, beginning of the trials. And actually, here's the path, and actually here's the exit, so I'm not gonna continue following that Po. <laughs> so, yeah, screw that. Screw that Po. So yeah, like I said, you can continue following it throughout the entire throughout the entire thing, but that's the exit right there. So you can just go ahead and, and make your way out and welcome to the Desert Colossus. Oh man. All right, so uh, in the Desert Colossus, this place is is very painful because it's full of these new enemies that we have now. These are called levers. Levers are very annoying. They infinitely spawn at uh, at you, and they come at you, and it's very annoying. Um, when you kill enough of these levers, I can actually I'm gonna show this off here before. Okay, yeah, here it is. We have a giant we have a giant lever over here. Like it's like, kind of like the boss. It's like a boss lever basically. Um, and then when you defeat it, you just get a crap ton of rupees. 
Um, so yeah, it's a very annoying place to navigate through. But anyway, here we are in a great fairy town as you blow up that wall. Which means we are going to see what this great fairy has to offer for us. Oh, why, hello there. Alright, the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. <laughs> and it is... Nehru's Love. So, the way Nehru's Love works, um, it's completely optional, but what I really like about this item is it pretty much shields you. Um, so if you go ahead and use it right now... Then you get this protective barrier around you, and um, with the expense of your magic, it will just continue shielding you, and you you won't take any damage at all. So it's a pretty nice item to have. As you can see, I'm taking I'm I'm getting hit, but I'm taking zero damage. All right, but there's also another really cool thing. If we head, I believe we head this way. Uh, where is it? Okay, right here. Alright, go ahead and head this way. And then, um, over here, not only do we have a gold skull saw, which we're going to go ahead and get right now. There we go. Oh, I, oh, I think my, I think Nehru's love, yeah, I wore off, okay. But if you go ahead and head over here, and play the Song of Storms, then something really cool happens here in this place. So, the water fills up here in the desert, and it create essentially cre creates an oasis. And, also, we get lots of fairies! Amazing. And actually, do I need... No, I don't. So, that's really awesome. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and head on over here. And ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We actually made it to the next area. The next dungeon. So without further ado... Um... Let's go ahead and head inside. Oh man, welcome to the Spirit Temple. And it has changed. As you can see, this time we have boulders blocking the way. Okay. What happens if we blow these up? A silver rupee. Okay. And then we got another silver rupee. Okay. We have a church that's over here. Let's see what we got inside. Bomb shoes. Okay. Interesting. And we have more silver rupees, but this thing is preventing me from going on forward. All right. And then what about what do we got here? A crawl space, which I can't go through. Alright, interesting. So what do we do? We can't actually do anything in here. Well, you know what we do when we can't actually go forward? We have to wait, 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 wait. What is that up there?
Did it blow up? No, it did not. Oh, interesting. Okay, it creates some up there. How interesting. Either way, that's not getting us anywhere. So what do we do? We leave. That's it. Future. The Massasaur is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through the Times River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to the Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. I saw that owl. Man, it sure has been a long time since we've encountered that. But with that, that's the Requiem Spirit. Wow, not even a goodbye? Uh, how rude. Sheik's pretty rude. But anyway, uh, okay, um, so basically, we have to go over here as, we have to do this temple as a child man, which is really interesting because, um, the temples are supposed to be, uh, temple, or are supposed to be for adults. Right, adult adult dungeons, but this is the first temple that we actually get to do as Child Link. So I think that's kind of interesting that it's like that here. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and place the Mass Sword down and become a child, and we're back in the Temple of Time as child. Alright, but actually, um, before we actually do that stuff, I'm going to... There's actually something that I never did, and I should have done this quite a while ago. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And most of you probably, probably know what I'm, what I'm talking about. We gotta make this nighttime, because you can't do this in the daytime for some reason. And, um. We're gonna go back over here. So, some of you guys may remember that I tried doing this here <laughs> way early on, but I wasn't very lucky. Oh, what? Wait, wait, I can take the dog in here? That's actually funny. Right, but anyway, we're gonna go and try this again, but this time. We're gonna see if we can do better. So let's go. Alright, so... Once again... You have a 50% chance of getting a, 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 for one of these chests to be a key. It's always random. Or, if you have the Lens of Truth, you can just cheat. And actually, you can use the Lens of Truth on any treasure chest outside this minigame. And it will, it will reveal what it has. Um... So, 
it's either you use the lens of truth to go to this, to do this mini game efficiently, or pray that you have a one in thirty two chance that you have a, that, that that you can win. And I don't think anybody is crazy enough to do this without um without the lens of truth. Although Hayden did say that he's done it before, but that's crazy. That's very crazy of him for, for him to do that. But anyway, after making it to the end, we get our, ourselves a prize here. And it is going to be another heart piece. Winner! Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, can you believe that we have one more heart piece to get in the game? It's amazing. But anyway, with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way out now. And unfortunately, we have, we have to just make our way all the way out. So, no, sh no shortcut to get out of here, but I think that's fine. Man, there's a lot of rooms here. Holy moly. So if you lose this even with the Melanthus on, I don't, I, I don't understand. Alright. Go ahead and go back to the um, uh, Desert Colossus here. Because there's one final thing that we are going to do. Alright, so welcome back. Here is the Spirit Temple over there. I don't really know why they call this the Spirit Temple, uh, because I don't know what sand has to do with spirits. But here as Child Link, we have a Soil Patch. And we're gonna go ahead and place our final set of bugs. And we no longer need bugs for the rest of the game. And this will give us Another gold spirit tower. All right, and then finally, the last set of beans here. And there we go. All right, and so um, let's see. Oh, 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 okay, I'm sorry, there is, I'm sorry, there's actually one thing I forgot to do, let's go back. Alright, we are back here, right by Hyrule Castle. I can't believe, so, in between recording, I was actually just looking through my, through my notes and see what have I not gotten, and I was just counting gold scotulas and heart pieces to make sure I was on the right track. And what I realized is I never got, I never went over here. Like, you could have done this much earlier, but for some reason, I just didn't do this. And I don't know why. But anyway, uh, use the Song of Storm to reveal this grotto. And there's a bunch of bomble holes here. And it contains a lot of rupees and a lot of ammunition, which is really nice. But also, the most important one is that, as you can see, we have a gold skulltula in here. Um, and so we are going to go ahead and get it right now. Alright, and actually, I just realized there's another thing that I forgot. That I forgot. So we're going to go ahead and get to it right now. Alright, if you go over here in the Gerudo Fortress at night and then head over to the archery area at night, for some reason I just missed this and it just crossed it just crossed my mind that I did miss this. Um yeah, you wanna go and head all the way this way. Pretty long way over, but you go and head over here, you can probably see it just barely, but there is a gold Skulltula right there on the target, and somehow I missed that, and it just makes no sense as to how I could possibly do that, but it happened. So let's see if, let me see if I'm on track here. Alright, let's see. 
Yes, I'm on track. Alright, so at this point, you should have 92 gold sculptures at around this point. And with that, we are, di we are done. And so, next time, we're going to go back as Child Link. And we are going to take on the Spirit Temple. So, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.